Today, it is the McKinnon family funeral home in Acton. But 90 years ago, this was the humble beginning of what we now call the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 197. Archivist with the Exquising Historical Society, John Mark Rowe. The beginnings of the, of the Legion, um, pretty much the same in, in most uh, small towns. The veterans came back and they needed a hand up. And so um, they formed the Great War Veterans Associations. And um, so that's the precursor of the, of the Royal Canadian Legion. And um, so these um, men got together and uh, you know, tried to do things to, to help each other out. So one of the things they did in Acton uh, was uh, they, they purchased, the group purchased um, Sunderland Villa, which was the home of, of the Story family who owned Story Glove. Uh, manufacturing. So people who don't know, it's Underland Villa today, it's the funeral home in Acton right on, on Mill Street. And um, so they purchased that as a, as a home for veterans and, um, and set it up so that um, veterans who didn't have a place to go or needed recovery, of course, you know, they didn't know about uh, PTSD and things like that. And so they could, they could recover there. And then it evolved into a hotel um, where um, the funds for that, uh, that were raised with the hotel, went to the, the Veterans Association as well for a little while. And then eventually it was, it was sold to, to the funeral home. Um, so one of the things that they wanted was a, uh, a cenotaph, um, a memorial, and um, they had one made, a, a block, a granite block of their own, um, to, to commemorate the, um, the people who had died in uh, the First World War. Um, they did rather quickly. I don't think everybody's on there. Um, and, uh, and they put that on the lawn of, of Sunderland Villa, of, of the, of the uh, funeral home. The Great War Veterans Association would eventually evolve to what the Royal Canadian Legion is today. And in March 27, 1931, the Charter 197 was granted. Royal Canadian Legion branch passed President Peggy Graham. Beardmore Company, which was a large tanning company in Acton, allowed the use of their arena clubhouse rent-free. J.M. Macdonald managed Beardmore and became the branch president after the first year. The first president was Billy Gould. They expanded by purchasing the Lance Building for $500, where they stayed for 30 years. This is the building that was on Main Street North in Acton. Our Lady's Auxiliary received their charter in September the 8th, 1945, and last year celebrated 75 years. In November 11th, 1949, they added two new stones to the Cenotaph downtown with the names of the World War II veterans on it. October in 1973, the sod was turned for the building on Wright Avenue. So here on Wright Avenue, the Legion sits. Serving as an historical monument that continues to play an active role in giving back. The Legion is a really important part of the community. It always has done a lot of community service and community work. And the important part of the Legion existing for 90 years, uh, most of the veterans are, with the exception of young veterans, Afghanistan veterans, etc., are, are deceased now. And it's very important that we as members of the Legion, most of them are associate members who have had a, a relative who have been in the war, you know, or that have served. So it's very important that we keep the memory alive. And keeping the memory alive is what the Esqueezing Historical Society also hopes to achieve through their archives at the Halton Hills Public Library. Here we are in the archives, and um, I will uh, show you some of the newspapers that I, that I said provided a really good record. So, for instance, here's a, a centennial edition of the Acton Free Press from 1974, when the town celebrated its 100th anniversary. And uh, there's a couple of things in here about the Legion. Um, there's, there's a lot of different things in here, but um, for instance, here is, um, here's an ad down here, uh, Branch 197. Salutes Acton, so uh, 1931 to 1974, with, uh, with the different um, presidents there. So in here, uh, this is our, our part of the archives that um, um, is cooler, and we can keep the door closed and, uh, and protect uh, the items that are in here. So here's um, a history 
uh, written in uh, 1981 of the Royal Canadian Legion, Branch 197. Um, and we also have a history for the 25th anniversary uh, from 1956. So, you know, different, um, there's 1977, 1972, 2016. So if, uh, if anyone has these sitting around the house and they don't know what to do with them, you can donate them to the Squeezing Historical Society and, uh, and then um, people who do research in the, in the future will have a full collection to look at. Mm -hmm.